Hey everyone, happy holiday! Welcome to the last video of 2023. We are spending Christmas in Romania in my old apartment, as you could see from that charming corner where we got our Christmas tree. So I am a little bit limited when it comes to video making, but I did record this drawing of me doing a quick redesign of Santa's sleigh before we came here, thinking that it might be a good video for the holiday period. And I will be talking about that and I will also be looking back at the year a little bit and reminiscing about my journey in life and on YouTube. So let us get started. If you follow me for a while, you guys know that I like transforming everyday regular cars into hover cars. I guess I want to fulfill the promise that sci-fi movies made when I was a kid, at least in drawing if nothing else. Also this year, well mostly towards the second part of the year, I really got into fountain pen sketching as well. So I thought it would be nice to end the year on two of my bigger drawing trends, that uh, being hover cars and fountain pen sketching. If you go back a couple of months, I uploaded a video with an insect hover car design. I liked the floaty arm slash leg setup with hover engines on it and I wanted to do something similar. I wanted to incorporate the loose hanging engines since the reindeer are not incorporated into the sleigh, but I didn't want to go with the Star Wars pod racer design, which was floating around in my head. So. Me going back to the insect leg hover engine setup worked actually great with the number of reindeer as well. Each engine could represent one of the reindeer and I could add a central light to the vehicle to represent Rudolph. Now I had a central team for the vehicle. Next step, I wanted to link it a bit to my hover cars. Most of the hover crafts I drew this year had sort of an old school car feel to it. Uh, the trick here was that it should be also utilitarian, having to carry around a bunch of presents, but also sleek. Santa deserves a sleek design for his sleigh after all. So during some quick ideation sketches, I decided decided to go with the muscle car look. I like the shoulder lines and strong look of a muscle car and I thought that look would go great if I turned the greenhouse of the car into a one-person cockpit and I must admit I am quite happy with the final look. This might be a good moment to mention that I uploaded the Procreate recording of the ideation to my Patreon. So if you are interested in that ideation process, take a look at my Patreon page, link in the description below. Now, I had a cool looking vehicle, Silhouette was working with the insect like hover engines and I could sell the story of the reindeer engines as well. The only problem was the cargo hold. And while Santa doesn't really have a cargo hold either on his sleigh, he has his big bag full of presents. Now that bag is magical and it can hold all the presents in the world. Here I had a bit of a problem since I tried to design things in a realistic manner. Well, realistic. And the cargo hold I had for the hovercraft, while sizable for the size of the vehicle, it would still not hold all the presents in the world. So what I did was a little bit of post-drawing world creation. This is where I draw something cool but relatively nonsensical and I try to come up with a reasoning why it would work in my world. So. My solution was a matter displacement cargo hold. You know how Megatron, the giant robot in the original cartoon and comic books, uh, transformed into a human-sized pistol? Well, they used matter displacement technology, which I decided will work perfectly for my Santa sleigh. And with that, I was happy about all the details regarding my design. You have to have fun and enjoy the drawing process and sometimes that includes coming up with silly stories to justify what you drew. Don't take yourself too seriously. Alright, that is what I had to say about the drawing, but as I mentioned in the beginning, I also wanted to do a look back at the year sort of cleaning house segment for this video. So if you are not into the sort of thing, feel free to mute the video or maybe just turn it off, go enjoy Christmas, eat some cookies, hang out with the family. One main thing that happened this year regarding YouTube is that I decided not to stick to the regular Monday upload schedule. While I think it is important to be consistent with your upload, uploads and it definitely helped me with my channel growth, I do YouTube in my free time which meant that I had to rush previous videos when I had heavy workloads. 
just to be able to put it out every Monday. And because of this, I started feeling not quite satisfied with the videos I was making. I wanted to put in more effort, but I just didn't have the time. And since I wanted to stick to the Monday schedule, I ended up uploading videos that I wasn't super happy with all the time. So at one point I just decided that I would rather ditch the schedule and post much less frequently, but make sure that the amount of effort I put in into a video makes me happy and calm down. My videos are not going to be produced or professional looking. We have a low quality of standard to uphold here, but I want to give more examples and have more fun with the videos. And speaking of fun, uh, more, the more popular videos seem to be the tutorial ones. Uh, videos that are a lot of fun for me to make uh, don't seem to hit that hard. I really love making Pokemon videos with my wife and other kinds of silly videos, but there are a couple of people who really seem to like these uh, videos, but the majority of YouTubers don't just because how YouTube works. These don't get recommended either. Uh, most people find me because of uh, tutorial videos, which is good. After all, I did start up my channel to share my knowledge with others, but I do feel like there is a finite amount of tutorials I can make. Um, I was thinking of remaking, maybe updating my industrial uh, fundamental tutorials for the future, but I will not bow to the algorithm. I will continue doing a mix of uh, tutorial and fun, for me at least, videos. Uh, I know a bunch of you will enjoy both of them since I have a bunch of you in my live streams and we seem to have a whole lot of fun. Uh, so yeah, while tutorials are more popular, I am still going to do uh, sort of uh, a mix of uh, fun drawing content as well. I uh, also started a Patreon last year, or this year actually, mostly because a couple of really awesome people kept on asking me to provide them a way to support me and I am super thankful. I never thought making silly YouTube videos would end up with people liking them so much that they would want to support me. So that is amazing. I am trying to come up with the best rewards for the tiers, but Patreon people seem to be a little bit shy. Not you, Kim. You are awesome. <laughs> and they don't really engage, so I hope they still like what I provide. If you are watching this and you are a patron or would be interested in becoming a patron, feel free to write to me if you would be interested in specific rewards or tiers. I want it to make sense for both the people uh, who join and me as well. And then finally, something I talked about in previous video is not quite YouTube related, but it had a big impact on me this year is my dad passing. I always thought that when you are a grown up, you would handle the passing of your elderly parents easier, but I was wrong. <laughs> I have good and bad days, but the bad ones are less frequent. It's more moments where I remember him and also my mom and get quite sad in that moment. But uh, yeah, life must go on and the presence of my wife helps a lot embracing the future. Um, but it did affect YouTube a bit. I went from not having the energy to make videos to trying to distract myself by making videos to accepting what happened and just taking time to process and not making videos again. And I feel this might be a trend for a bit where videos might be scarce. Uh, but among other things, this is also going to be a trend because we are trying to move. This is the looking forward, the future part of the video, even though I added some future steps to my looking back points as well. Uh, we live in a one bedroom apartment and me working 90% from home, from the living room, locks that area down for the day. So. We would like to get a house together where we have some extra room, at least for a home office, where either of us can go for calls and not disturb the other one. So I will be spending a lot of time looking for houses, figuring out financing, hopefully moving and then set, setting up in a new office. I will, of course, try and put some good videos together whenever I have a little bit of time, but I just wanted you all to be prepared for off times here and there. That was it for this concept design slash life update video. Uh, I went on long enough. If you see this video on the day of upload, I wish you and your loved ones 
Merry Christmas if you're celebrating that. Otherwise, happy holidays and a happy new year. I hope to see you in future videos. I thank you for all the support. Special thanks to my amazing patrons. But as always, the most important thing is that you folks have a great time. Keep on sketching and see you in the next video. Bye-bye.